Hi, Angela here with Dogwood Paper Arts, and I'm back. And we are going to do the next Marguerite Miller challenge. This is number 2020 C03. A bug or insect, a key, a sequence of numbers, ink, whatever that means to you, a quote, and the bonus is something in black and white. So the first thing I'm going to do, we're going to collage this one today with um, this Tim Holtz Distress Collage Medium, Crazy Medium. Um, where's my other one? I don't want to use this one. Although, what would it do? Would it craze? Crazing is a crackle craze gel medium ideal for gluing, layering, sealing, mixed media projects. Apply directly on porous surfaces only. Dries translucent with a subtle crackle craze matte finish. Use with Tim Holtz Distress Collage and medium brush. This is the one we want right here. Oh. Hope your ears were closed. I banged those lids on the solidly on the tabletop to um, break the seal on the top. It does work, but you do have to be pretty direct with it so that you don't crack your lid or your container. So I've decided I'm going to go ahead and use the collage medium to lay down my pages. I want to um, put some color underneath here. And I'm still doing a double layout. Um, I kind of like that double layout. I got this one kind of wrinkly, but that's okay. Wrinkle is good. A wrinkle in time. We'll just put this over the top to help it to um, mold a little better even though it's crinkled. Use my bone folder to kind of help straighten it out a little bit.
and then um, whoops threw my brush in the water didn't mean to do that the towel on my lap so I don't get my medieval romance journal messy because it's sitting right over there okay now we have a base make sure that's down in there even if it cracks that's okay with me I just want it down in there oh boy that's a mess okay let's see let me put those over there I still have to clean my stamps and I'm gonna throw the rest that away because I don't need any more of that Okay, so I'm going to start down here with the bonus, something in black and white. And the reason I'm doing that is because I have this Tim Holtz collage paper. And I want to use this because I think it reminds me of maybe putting an insect on here. So this looks black and white to me, but maybe it's not. And I think maybe we'll go across that way. So I'm doing a little bit lighter coat now. Um, not sure if that's going to help me or not. Or make it worse. I'm not going to cover everything with it, but I do want to cover some of it. Let's see if we can get up to that page number right there. pulling on that a little bit. I'm hoping that it lays down a little bit better than some of my book page did. Forgive me if my arm gets in your way. I feel like I could have added a little bit of water to this. That might be a bad idea though. And like I said, this part will get trimmed off up here that doesn't need to be there. It's getting a little lumpy right through here because my paper underneath was already lumpy.
get the um, edges off. Okay, I do have my... Now, I want that one. And I have some black and white other stuff here. Let's see. The other thing I have is this one. I think. We'll just cut some of those out. And just kind of paste them in here, here and there. So we have some birds nesting right outside my window here. And they're nesting in what is called a rhododendron. Never had one nest in there before. Um, not this kind of bird. These are scrub jays. For some reason I was calling them stellars. And they're not. They're scrub jays. They're just a, a bird that a lot of people don't like in their yards. But I'll tell you what, they are so funny. When you get to watching them and their antics, it is amazing. It just, it's like, these are birds, for heaven's sakes. And they're really funny. They're funny to watch. You give them peanuts and they sneak around the yard and they bury them. And then the other jays are watching them. So the other jays go and dig them up and they rebury them somewhere else. We put a lot of peanuts out for our unsalted roasted peanuts. Um, and we put them out for our jays. And some of the other birds, they like them too. But uh, yeah, um, they're very funny. They're hilarious to watch. I just, I just really enjoy it. So, um, okay, so continuing to add to our black and white, I think we will add, what, we have some black and white here, that's kind of a kitchen black and white, what else do we have here, that's blue, Guess this is black. I 
think we'll use glue stick on this. go here and we still have to clip that off I have not forgotten I'm going to run that right along the edge there we go gonna let that dry too and let's see What next? Um, do we want any more black and white on there? What else do we have? Together Is our favorite place to be. Very tiny writing, isn't it? I think we'll put that down here along the bottom. enough black and white up there so um whoops just whacked my computer okay so we have the black and white obviously um a bug or insect a key a sequence um a bug or insect? Oh, now I know. I just so happen to have some ladybug in here. And ladybugs are supposed to be good luck if they're in your house. So... I'm going to put ladybugs on mine. Ladybug, ladybug, where did you go? I think it got caught in a butterfly. <laughs> okay, so I think we'll put this one down here. Then I think 
kind of want them going all different directions, not the same direction. Whoops! Come back here, ladybug. Because I'm sure they're exploring. So they would be exploring other areas. Can you see that? are so gluey. And I have one more. So let's bring him down here. And I want to kind of push those down a little bit. So we have some ladybugs, and uh, I guess I need another kind of insect, huh? Come with me to my insect drawer, if I can find it. <laughs> oh dear, insect drawer, where did you go? Is this you? No, that's not insects, and neither is that. And that might have a key in it that we need. There are some keys in there, but we may have to find one that's not a real key. There we go. Stamps. Gotta pull my drawer out, clear up there at the top. That's not an insect either. I don't know what I did with my insects. I had a whole bunch. Hmm. I must have put them in an insect drawer or a box. Those are magnets. Those are butterflies. That's Christmas. That won't do. No. That's inks. Hmm. Well. Yes, I can't show you my bugs because I can't find them. Maybe they're down here. That's uh -huh. Uh -huh. insects. I found them. Now let me get our cord clear back over here. So there is some insects there, and some inking. This is my nature journal box. And I don't see any real insects on there. Oh. Look at that, there's some on the back page. Aren't those wonderful or anything? Sorry guys. Uh, 
I don't know about cutting these guys out. They're pretty tiny. So we'll just kind of fussy cut in a big way. <laughs> I'm not a great fussy cutter, so I tend not to get too exact about it. It amazes me all the insects we have on our planet. And some of them are just so creepy. And me, I I don't like spiders. I have a hard time with spiders. So I try to avoid those as much as possible. But we do have them right here. They're not usually, they're all usually pretty harmless. Although a couple years ago I did get bit on the back of my leg by something and it made me very, very sick. And I lost all the feeling in the back of my leg my calf. So that's a little different, but looks like an upside down duck there. Oh, come on. Come on. There we go. So we have an insect here. Better put him up the right way, huh? So there's that one. And let's see. We have a praying mantis here. I like praying mantis now. Is that a walking stick? The one that looks like a um, leaf there. I remember the first time I saw a walking stick. I was so shocked. Now I know why Rachel uses that little basket to catch all her little parts. that fall off of fussy cutting. So this one was already cut in half, so I don't have to feel bad about that. Um, so it is going to be coming onto the page. From somewhere else. Oh, come back here, Mr. Praying Mantis. Oops, cut that right on my book again. My fingers are stuck together. That doesn't help. Okay, so praying mantis will be over here. Whoops, took his leg. Sorry. Did not mean to. There you go. And let's see. 
really don't want some really creepy one looking. This must be a beetle. Oh man, the specimen slides would have been good here, huh? These would be good in a specimen side. Let's see. They have some mighty thin legs. Okay, so there we go. That should be good enough for that. <sighs> what else? A booger insect, a key. Now, I got a key out too. What do I do with it? Oh, I got so much glue on my fingers. So I have a key here. That I would like to glue down. Over here is my glue. Whoops. Now I have it inside of this little piece of doily. And I'm hoping that that will help hold it in place in the book. Oops. If not, it will just fall out. And that'll be okay. Then we'll put a paper key in its place. Yeah, I don't think it's going to, I think it's going to be too heavy. Let's just see if we can leave. No, it's not going to work. It's, it's just a little too heavy, I think. Probably if I set it on that plastic, it'll adhere right to it. There we go. So I need a key then that will attach to the page. So here's how we'll do that. Find a bulb pin. that'll work but there we go we have a key um, we have bugs or insects um, a sequence of numbers Ooh, we gotta find some numbers I want to put this down. I'm not going to make a pocket this time. I'm just going to put it down. Mm 
and I don't have numbers numbers well I might have some number stamps Have some number stickers. I don't think I have anything else really with numbers. I might have stamps, but I'd really have to look for them. I might have them right here. I'd have some with a few numbers. Oh, I almost fell over. I almost fell over my bug box. Let's see. Sequence of numbers. That seems to be where I keep all my music. Um, no. Yes, right here. a lot of these to my granddaughter recently. So a sequence doesn't really matter, does it? So it could be like one, two, three, four. Whoops. What number? I broke it already. Let's try that for a one. <laughs> Even though I broke it stop off. One, two. Those are not sticking very well. So I think I am going to have to get my glue stick back over here. Oh, my fingers are so gluey that I'm just tearing the numbers apart. <sighs> Look at all this glue. This is the part I like about it. You get to peel it off your fingers. And it peels it off in big bunches. Especially once it's dry. But normally I'll go in the bathroom and I have a little scrubby brush and I scrub it all out so I don't get glue around the house. Okay.
Okay. One, two, three, four, five. How about that? Did I really glue that down? I guess I did. Okay. Yes, I did. Okay, a sequence of numbers, ink, and whatever that means to you. Um, ink, whatever that means to me. Well, I don't even know. You can see it has stuff in there. That's probably it. Shimmer. I know I'm not supposed to shake it, and I already have. I don't know what this will do. So bear with me. This is, might be something that we find out later what it does after it dries. Ooh. Pretty. It's a pretty color. Let's see. Now I'm trying to get home, open a distressing uh, oxide spray. And it is cracked pistachio. I don't really know. It's probably going to be about that same color, I suppose, huh? Yep, it sure is. Look at that. Same color. So ink. There's my ink. I want more. Blue. I don't even think I have blue. Whoops, too much on the birds. Oh, but I do like what it does. It colors. Trying to spray not on the bird nest, but how many times have I sprayed it? A bazillion. Okay, there's the spray. I've lost the lid. I have, I have. It's on the floor. Oh, there it is. I don't want to leave it there because my dog will get it. Okay, so ink. A quote. Let's just put that up here. We'll just use many mottos. I think that'll be fine. work. Why not? Quotes of May. Uh, even though they're not really quotes, I'm sorry. We're going to go with them. Okay. Okay. 
Okay, did we get them all? Got lots, lots to let dry, that is for sure. And I have a lot of cleaning up to do. I have allowed it to get out of hand. I am looking for my small scissors that look just like this, but they're smaller. Uh-huh. Hiding. A bug or insect I have um, that key did start to glue down there but not all the way I have a bug in here Let's see what they have. these are little cardboardy bugs or plastic ones. Cardboard? Yes. There's a moth. Ooh, there's a nice moth. Nope. My daughter, one of my daughters, she hates moths. Absolutely. They, they scare her. And she's a bug person. She loves bugs. All bugs except for the crazy moth. And it's because we used to get these great big ones. And they would hang out on the garage. But if they got in the house, they were a pain. You know how moths are. They dive in towards the lights and stuff like that. And she couldn't get it to quit diving at her. And she developed a big fear of these moths charging at her. So, okay. Bugger insect, got him. Key, we have it. It's attached, but I think it's okay. I like it. Ink. Oh, a sequence of numbers. There's a little sequence of numbers right there. Um, I think that two is going to come off. Ink. Got it. Um, a quote. Not really a quote, but it'll do. I'd have to look it up and find a good quote. I had one somewhere. I used to have it all the time. And I thought I brought it in here and attached it to a shelf, but I cannot find it. Who knows? I don't know what I did with it. So anyway, I think we'll call that good. Um, something black and white, and I use the Tim Holtz paper in the background, the black and white uh, clear paper and the black and white um, washi tape around the edges. My bugs, also ladybugs and beetles, Mr. Praying Mantis, and it's a bit of a nature theme. So we stuck with um, leaves and flowers, birds, outdoorsy type stuff. But I just, 
I don't know. I may find a quote and put on there. Don't know yet. But for now, we're going to go with the May mottos. And we're going to let this dry and see how it looks afterwards. Thank you, Marguerite. This has been, it's been a challenge for me. Um, but I'm really enjoying it. And I love, love the process. There's a lot of thought that goes into it. And, uh, and just more and more and more thought. You th keep thinking, well, now I gotta f move on to this area and that area. And, you know, I'd still like to do some more, put a little house in here and a little place in the woods and, you know, things like that. But we're going to call that good. So anyway, thank you for joining me for the Marguerite Miller Challenge. And I hope you'll check her out. Uh, MarguerieMiller.com You can find it. And she has some different things to look at. And what I'm looking at is the assignment generator area. There's a down arrow and you go to the archive. And I believe she now has some where she, you can just print it out and these will be all written up for you. Um, numbers 1 through 10. So anyway, why don't you join us and let's see how you do too. Um, I'll subscribe to your channel if you put up the Marguerite Miller Challenge. And uh, you can subscribe to mine. It's actually been fun. I'm enjoying it a lot. And it's kind of neat, you know. I'm going to end up having an interesting little book here. And I do like this, where I made a new poem out of the words that were already there. So, okay. Thank you very much for joining me. And I hope that you enjoyed your good time with me. There's the ladybugs. My quote unquote. And some more beetles and birds. My number sequence. So we'll see you next time. Uh, have a good evening and um, I look forward to seeing you back here and working on our uh, medieval romance journal. We got to finish that up, don't we? See you tomorrow. Bye.